The early signing period is almost here, Canes fans, so let's take a quick look at who's going to be taking their last official visits to Miami this weekend. What's going on, Canes fans? How you doing? How you been? It's been a couple of days since we last spoke, and I want to thank you so much for helping me crush our subscriber goal. My goal was to hit 11,000 by the end of December, and we're not even halfway through December, and we've already got there. We hit 11,000 subs a few days ago, and that's because of you guys liking and sharing the videos and commenting on it. So thank you so much for that. And also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and you want to consider joining this college football family, I cover college football all year long. The content does not stop on this channel, so I would greatly appreciate it if you consider doing that for me. Now, two quick disclaimers before I dive into this one. Number one, prepare yourself for some names to be pronounced incorrectly. Now, once these guys decide to sign with the Canes and they're on the squad, and I know a little bit more about them, they've been on campus for a while, I'll be able to, of course, become familiar with them and pronounce their name correctly. And also, if you see me looking down, I do have some notes in front of me for this one because I typically don't dive deep into recruiting. So some of these guys I know a lot about, some of them I don't. So I might refer to my notes a few times throughout the video, but I'll try to keep it to a minimum. So we're going to talk about all of the recruits that are taking an official visit to Miami this weekend, the weekend before the early signing period. So kicking off the list is four-star quarterback recruit, Tyler Van Dyke. Van Dyke is listed as a pro style quarterback and man I gotta tell you he throws a beautiful deep ball. A lot of people consider him a pocket passer. He's six foot four, 210 pounds and during his senior season he threw for 2,260 yards, 21 touchdowns and five interceptions. So the QB battle for the Miami Hurricanes is going to continue to heat up this 2020 season. Next up is four-star running back Don Chaney Jr. He is currently the highest rated recruit in Miami's 2020 class. He's 5'10", 203 pounds, runs a 4'4", and he was also the state champion high jumper in high school. So we've been looking for a guy that can hurdle opponents like Amon Richards. Maybe this could be the guy. So moving down the list, four-star running back Jalen Knighton will also be on campus this weekend. He's 5'9", 194 pounds, and another Florida kid. He was actually previously committed to FSU, but once Taggart got fired, he decommitted, committed to Miami, and I gotta tell you, the Canes family welcomed him with open arms. You can't have enough running backs, am I right? Now, one of Knighton's teammates will be visiting as well, three-star wide receiver recruit Xavier Restrepo. He's 5'10", 186 pounds, and he actually played on both sides of the ball in high school, but Miami most likely is going to try to bring him in at the slot receiver position. And I feel like this is one of those scenarios where Restrepo and Knighton are good friends. They played high school ball together, so I think if we get one, we've got the other. Now finishing up the wide receivers that will be visiting this weekend is four-star recruit Michael Redding III from IMG Academy. Now I don't need to elaborate, we're all very familiar with IMG Academy. Redding is six foot one, 195 pounds and runs a 4.5440. And the aerospace engineering program at Miami is what really reeled this guy in. And yes, there will be a tight end commit on campus, three-star recruit Dominic Mamorelli. A six foot four, 235 pound Florida kid who was once a four star. However, he missed his junior season due to a shoulder surgery and he got bumped down to a three star. Now this kid, I've watched some tape on him and he's got some serious potential. So let's wrap up the offense with three O-linemen that will be visiting. And there's actually gonna be two four stars. First off is gonna be Jalen Rivers, a massive, let me repeat, massive, Six foot six, 331 pound kid out of Orange Park, Florida, and former Texas A&M commit Chris Morris. He's six foot three, 287 pounds. But wow, I'm Jalen Rivers, six foot six, 331 pounds. That guy, given our offensive line struggles, listen, this is a recruiting video, so I'm not going to dive too deep into it, but could quite possibly have an immediate impact. The third O lineman is three-star recruit Chris Washington. Now, this guy is six foot seven, 265 pounds. So he's actually an inch taller 
than Rivers. So if he can just put some weight on, he could also potentially get some immediate play time. So now that we got the guys on offense out of the way, let's take a look at some of the guys on defense that are going to be visiting this weekend. And I'm going to start it off with one of the best defensive ends in the 2020 class, four-star recruit Chance Williams. Now it just so happens that Chance Williams is good friends and teammates with Jalen Rivers. So is this maybe another scenario where we get one, we get the other, they're teammates, they're good buddies, and their official visit is on the same weekend. So that could be good news for Miami. Now, Chance Williams is six foot four, 238 pounds, and he will be playing in the Under Armour All-American game. Next up, we've got another defensive end who's coming down from North Carolina, three-star recruit Quentin Williams. He's six foot three, 234 pounds, and guess what? His dad is a big Canes fan, and Believe it or not, yes, that can actually make a difference. And we've also got a former wide receiver converted to a cornerback paying us a visit. Three-star recruit Marcus Clark. This guy is 5'11", 175 pounds, and he brings track star type speed. Next up is going to be safeties, and there are several, so just go ahead and buckle up. You've got three-star Brian Ballum from Miramar High School. He's 6'179 pounds. Four-star Keyshawn Washington out of South Dade High School. He's six foot two, 177 pounds. And lastly, you have four-star recruit Jaden Francois. Now, I'm, I'm grinning a little bit in a good and a bad way because that, that's a name that many of you are familiar with. Francois has actually committed and decommitted to Miami twice. Now, it looks like he's narrowed it down to either Miami or or Nebraska. And listen, I get it. I understand that it can be frustrating when a kid keeps flipping and flopping. And that, that's why a lot of times I've struggled in covering recruiting and wanting to cover recruiting. Because, you know, typically I care about the guys on the, during the early signing period and on National Signing Day that say, I am a Miami Hurricane. Because now it's all about clicks and likes. And I, I'm not going to take this opportunity, this video, to get into all that. But what I'm getting at is as frustrating as it might be, there's no denying that Francois would be a good pickup for Miami. And lastly, wrapping up the list, the final official visit this weekend is going to be three-star defensive back Darren Branch. Now, he had committed to Miami in the past, but had flipped to Ole Miss. Well, we all know the story about Ole Miss, their new head coach. <laughs> Welcome, Lane Kiffin. So needless to say, Branch will be visiting Miami this weekend. Now, keep in mind, Canes fans, that we have a couple of big-time recruits that are visiting other schools this weekend. <clears throat> Justin Flo. We'll see how that goes. So as you can see, this is a huge recruiting weekend for Miami. With all of these kids visiting right before the early signing period, this is huge. And it's our last chance to make an impression on these guys. And hopefully, if they're not already fully committed, winning them over. But I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Let's talk recruiting down in the comment section below. Tell me some of these guys that you're excited about. Maybe discuss some of the ones that I didn't mention. Let's talk about some of these big time recruits that are visiting other schools this weekend. Just tell me how you're feeling about it. Right now, I believe the 2020 recruiting class at the time of me filming this video is sitting around number 14. And last year we were in the upper 20s for the 2019 class. So this is potentially a good sign. I mean, does, does Manny Diaz land a top 10 or top 15 recruiting class with a currently 6-6 six and six Miami Hurricanes? We're going to find out, but I'm super excited. I will be fully covering early signing the early signing period, and I will also be, of course, in February covering National Signing Day, and we're also going to be covering the bowl game, Miami versus Louisiana Tech. So it's still exciting times. There's lots of content coming on this channel, but tear up that comment section. Let's talk recruiting. Remember, though, guys, we are all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop. Peace out.